Hello, in this tutorial I'll show you how to fit non-spherical nanoparticles using pebbles. Let's start by loading an image. This image displays manganese sulfide nanoparticles and as you can see they have circular, elliptical, somewhat polygonal shapes. I zoom in this region and I wanted to manually fit a few nanoparticles. So I press the manual fit button and I have now to select a shape. I do not know exactly what shape should I use but a reasonable choice is ellipsoid which is a rather flexible shape. I use a linear intensity model and then I have to graphically input the geometrical parameters. I click at the nanoparticle center, then I click again where I think the major diameter is, and then drag the mouse to draw the nanoparticle edge, and finally click to start the fitting procedure. The result is not bad, I am satisfied, so I answer yes. But, as I told you, I'm not sure about the shape, is this the correct one or the best one. I try to fit it again using, this time, an elliptic cylinder as nanoparticle shape. In this case, I can only choose a constant intensity model, since a cylinder has constant thickness. Center major diameter, shape. Ok, I had satisfactory fit also in this case and I press yes. And now I have a look at the log window and in particular I compare the goodness of fit values of the two nanoparticle models I just fitted. Goodness of fit is best when it's smaller. And in this case, the ellipsoid has a definitely smaller goodness of fit value than the elliptic cylinder. So I choose the ellipsoid as the nanoparticle shape in this case. I can tell you that these are actually octahedral nanoparticles, but uh, the roundness of the edges and the different positions make the use of an ellipsoid nanopart oops, the ellipsoidal nanoparticle model appropriate. And I'll show you by fitting a couple of nanoparticles more manually. Ellipsoid linear model. I choose, let's say, this one. Yes, and then I choose also maybe this one. I'm satisfied. So I can also think of now shifting to semi automatic mode using an ellipsoid shape, diameters I can use let's say 62 and 50, ok, and the linear intensity model. And then I try here, I have of course to click both at the center and at the direction of the major axis and you can see that in this case the fitting procedure did not arrive at convergence but don't give up try again with a somewhat different guess and as you can see in this case you got the satisfactory result yes let's try maybe this one 
Yes. You can also shift to the automatic mode, try to fit uh, all the nanoparticles which are present in this image. Now I'll show you a different case. I load another image. I mask if I want to preserve or delete previous nanoparticle models, but since I'm changing image and sample, I deleted the previous models. Yes. This image represents uh, manganese oxide nanoparticles with very peculiar shape. And I want to show you how to fit some of these nanoparticles. I zoom in on this one. And my idea is to fit this as a rectangular shape nanoparticle. I begin with manual and I look for a shape which seems to be reasonable and to me this could be a cuboid that is a parallel epipedon. Again this can only have a constant intensity model and the graphical input is similar to that I did for elliptical nanoparticle. I click more or less at the center largest dimension and then I drag the mouse to have a reasonable input. Click again. Fitting procedure starts. Now it's a little bit longer because the nanoparticle is large and I have a good result I'm satisfied with. Nanoparticle is about 130 pixel long and 16 pixel wide. I return to the original view and I choose another nanoparticle, a rod shape, and I try to fit it manually as a cuboid. Okay, but in this case I intentionally give a not so good input guess the wrong center, wrong largest axis, and wrong shape. And let's see if Pebbles is able to converge to the appropriate solution. As you can see, nanoparticle shape have been changed and rotated and I got a satisfactory result. So, I've shown you how you can experiment with shapes and find an appropriate shape to describe the nanoparticles you have in your image.